You want to know what a nightmare is for a man. And I say this to people and I've said this to black men. I've said this to white men. I've said this to everybody. I said this is where real men come into play, where we all in this together. If you are a real man. You want to provide for your family Mm -hmm. to those out there. You ain't a real man if you ain't thinking about providing for your family. You know what I'm saying? If you want to take all the money for yourself and you don't want to give nothing to anybody else and you want to leave everybody else hanging while you live the good life, that is not a man. A man provides. That's what men do mm-hmm. when you have a family. Any man, I don't give a what ethnicity you are, when you have a concern as to how you're going to pay your bills. Mm, scary time. There is nothing worse. Scary. There is nothing worse. Because then you don't feel like you can be a man. That's right. Right. There's nothing worse. I don't care if you have a woman with money. You still don't feel like you're a man. You don't feel like you're a man. Right. Because it's like she she could make she could make two million a year. No matter. If you made three hundred thousand a year to her two million, you're still okay. Yes. Because you know you could provide for you. For the lifestyle. And you could yes. provide for a certain lifestyle. Maybe not the lifestyle her salary gives you. Right. But it ain't like you on the street. Right. You're buying food. You're That's paying right. for rent. You can travel. You're fine. Yeah. You don't have to make as much as her or whatever. But when you cannot provide. At all. At all. <laughs> it is no worse feeling on the planet. That is as close to death. Mm. Spiritually. Mm-hmm. As I've ever felt in my life, with the exception of losing my mother. Wow. Nothing. Losing my brother was devastating. Losing my mother was just a different level. Mm -hmm. It's hard to explain and put into words what I went through after I lost my mother. But a close second was when I was unemployed. Wow. And wondering whether or not I was going to have a job. And what was the lesson for you and what did you learn or, or develop well, first in thing, that time? First thing I learned is, is that don't give a damn about popularity. Um, a whole bunch of people knew me. Well, this is a double-edged sword to that. That means they knew I was fired. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I was popular. That means when I got fired, I was popular. Mm-hmm. Popular, talked you know, about, they're talking talk about, exactly, you know, they're popular for the wrong reasons. Yeah. Um, so you can't give a about that. The other thing was, and the most important lesson, master my business. I thought popularity was people screaming my name in the streets. Mm. I paid little to no attention to revenue and ratings. I left that to other people. Interesting. So you know what that meant, Lewis? I didn't know my worth. Mm. And no clue. 